Hello everybody, GL1 here and welcome to my online toy museum. Today is my sixth episode on Buzz Lightyear. My Buzz Lightyear episodes have spanned my show for over a hundred episodes starting all the way back at episode 159 and then there's 163, 199, 211, and 259. So here we are once again and this time I have a Pixar Spotlight Buzz Lightyear. It is very high quality. It looks like something that would be made by McFarlane Toys. Um, and this Buzz Lightyear actually came out before the Lightyear movie. It's actually a 2021 action figure and the movie came out in 22. But you can see that they clearly already had uh, a direction on what the figure would look like. And uh, the movie actually was five years in development. And finally, and you may have seen, if you saw my other episodes, I had not seen the movie. Finally, I did see the movie. So I am going to tell you one spoiler, uh, something, well, hmm, yeah, okay. The one thing I really did not like is who Emperor Zerg turned out to be. I feel like that was the biggest problem with the movie. Despite any other complaints, I feel like that really took the movie off course on what makes Buzz Lightyear and Zerg playable. I think when you want to have an adventure and you want to have a hero and an enemy, uh, they, you have to have that defined in a way that is very different than having Zerg be a future version of Buzz Lightyear. There you are, there's the spoiler. So the first thing I want to show you is you have an uh, opening here so light could go through and um, you know that helps illuminate the figure inside and then you have a description uh, in different languages of uh, the iconic character created by artists and storytellers at Pixar. And then you have Angus McFarla uh, McLean, who directed and co-wrote with a couple of other people uh, the Lightyear movie. So if you had a problem with the direction of the movie like I do, uh, I blame him. So, uh, but overall, I enjoyed the animation, and there were many things I liked about the movie. I don't usually uh, care too much about the animals in a movie, but uh, I actually like this uh, little kitty. It won me over, the AI kitty, and um, I'm really excited to open this action figure. And here we go. Okay, so to take Buzz out of the package, there was just a couple of... Uh, nylon tethers to cut so that was easy all right so here he is and we have Buzz Lightyear with the double knees so excellent articulation there we have good swiveling in the hips actually great swiveling look at how high that can go up you have waist turn and torso joint so it's a ball joint inside the torso so this is has all the highest quality so far of joint choices um, you have the double elbows and full sh shoulder motion. All right, and the hands are a pretty stiff plastic. Um, good in some ways for holding things, difficult for getting the hands to hold things. And you do have some little bit of motion rotation in the feet. Of course, you know, you have those armored cuff so it doesn't give you too much motion nice pegs to put him on a stand and there you go you have the helmet that closes and the head moves from the neck just like many of the Terminator NECA action figures so alright so that is how Buzz comes right out of the package alright let's take a look at those wings and they have a couple of tethers on them and clip those all 
right, so there you go. And, oh, good, so it springs down and you push a button and it springs out. Let's see if they'll spring out at the same time. Yeah, there you go. And notice two different like lights on there. And then that just, let's see how that attaches. Okay, so what you have is you have these pegs there, peg holes. And then, there we go. Peg that in there. All right. So that's that. It comes off rather easily though. So you might want to use one of those clear uh, plastic, very flexible rubber bands if you want to play with it and hold that on there and kind of tether that around. All right, let's see about what it's like to change the head. Okay, so that pulls off. You see there's a ball joint in there. I don't know if the helmet comes off. Yeah, there, that comes off. So, but maybe we don't have to take that off to change the head. Let's put on the, there we go. There, we have his uh, buzz with his head sock, right? Keep his hair out of his face because you know when you're, when you got a lot of G-forces flying through space, and you're, you don't want your hair getting in, your, in the way. All right, let's see. How easy is that to get on? Oh, okay, not, not bad. Okay, and then that closes up. All right, and let's say we wanna switch a, uh, a hand. Let's see how easy that is. So do a little twist and pull, all right. Got that, and then let's do a pointing hand. All right, so he's pointing like, you're in trouble, Zerg. And I'm just going to pretend Zerg is not a future buzz. <laughs> that's all right. So that's a pointing or also I guess he should, could be holding something and uh, pulling a trigger. All right, let's see. So then we have his forearm laser. That, oh, look at okay, so that even snaps on. All right, so we can kind of push that through. I don't know, that looks like it could break. Maybe I can just, you know what, I think, hmm, maybe I can just take the hand off and then push that up there. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think undoing this is a good idea. All right, and then Push that up on there. And then uh, the kitty. Let's get the little kitty out here. Socks, the cat. Didn't Bill Clinton have a cat named Socks? Someone had a cat named Socks. Oh, look. Okay, so even the legs articulate. There you go. Well, that's cute. Of course, the kitty was responsible for figuring out the secret of the crystal for time travel. So, smart AI cat. So he could hold the cat, bend his arm up there, and then hold the cat. All right, let's see how Buzz does with the stand. Okay, so I'd read a complaint that the stand isn't sturdy enough to hold Buzz in a flying position because of his weight. And that's mostly true. Uh, although you can get him like that. And then let's see if we put the jet pack on. All right, so he can do that. And then I guess you could try to get him to hold the cat. Although again, 
plastic bungee the cat into his arms might be a good solution. Uh, you could maybe move the little paws. Maybe he can help help himself. There you go. All right, so to infinity and beyond. All right, so right now, this, this was $43, and it was on clearance on Amazon for $20. Definitely worth the $20. Um, quite a lot of detail. I mean, it's, you know, just what you want from a high-quality Buzz Lightyear action figure, you know, overall. I mean, if you want something that doesn't look, you know, like a little kid's toy, but you really like Buzz, and you want to, you know, position him with some of your other action figures. Uh, I don't think I have the head on all the way, but I, I think, you know, if, if it's difficult to push on, there's always a trick. So let's see. So let's see this is... Ah, okay, so everything comes off. There you go. All right. All right, but, okay, the trick I was going to tell you is if you ever have a hard time with plastic getting a hand off or a hand on or a head or whatever, then you can always put it in boiling water for, you know, 10, 20 seconds. It softens everything up. It's amazing how much everything softens up. And then you'll be able to squish uh, the pieces on or off. All right, let's see if we can get that back together easily. You know, and you may have heard me mention before, if you order an action figure, you know, and it's in the mail, and it's cold out, and you're really excited to play with it. Sometimes, it's if, the, if the plastic is cold and you go to bend it, especially like a pretty thin joint, I mean, this is a strong plastic. The plastics are really good nowadays, but if it's cold, they get brittle. Sometimes you go to bend it and it breaks. So again, you can put things in boiling water and, um, you know, get things moving. I had a Matt Hardy action figure uh, that was frozen, had an arm that was frozen uh, for years, <laughs> and I hadn't thought uh, to do that. And then finally I, I said, you know what, let me try this and see how it works. And it, it's unbelievable. It totally worked and never stiffened up again. I could always play with it. So, all right, so there's Buzz Lightyear. And, yeah, I mean, this just... It's great, except that this really does come off way too easily. Um, yeah, I guess there's really no simple solution for that uh, other than to get some of those plastic bungees that you might get with, with another toy, or you can order those too separately. And so here's your stand. Um, it's, I think the other thing that would be nice is if it was taller. So it does have ratchets that will, you know, It'll do a pretty good job, I think, of holding Buzz in most positions. But if it was longer and, and taller, even if he was hanging down, so this this kind of clips. Yeah, it's just a pressure clip. Sometimes it actually is a joint and it clips. You know, if it was taller, then he, it would look more like he, you know, he was flying. Um, the other thing you can do with this, this comes out. Um, a little easily, but not too easily, so that it falls, so that's good. And then you have your foot pegs, and then you can foot peg Buzz, you know, into his stand. So there you go. All right, another cool Buzz Lightyear toy. Um, and, you know, it comes with, you have six hands, so you have grabbing hands and pointing hands and a couple of different Buzz Lightyear uh, heads. Um, Different, little bit different facial, more of a smug facial expression, more of a calm, uh, you know, uh, smile, facial expression. They're, they're pretty much the same. And then, of course, you got your buzz with your classic uh, inertia head sock, right? So, all right. Thanks for watching, and uh, you all take care, and I'll be talking to you soon.